Hey everyone, this is Hard Capricorn. Today I will be discussing why Capricorn may have ghosted you. Okay, so let me just start off by saying this. Capricorns need our space. So this could definitely play a major part into why a Capricorn ghosted you. Capricorns are just that way sometimes, and it really has nothing to do with you at all. So please, 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 please don't take it personal. Capricorns require space, and we definitely need time alone quite often. We may also disappear if we feel like we're being smothered or overwhelmed. Capricorns really need this time alone because we do have the tendency to have anxiety or the tendency to just feel overwhelmed. So it's never a good idea to add unnecessary pressure to a Capricorn by being needy or just coming off with a user mentality. Capricorns like to be there for people, but at the same time, we like to take our time and space to ourselves. And there are times when we just don't want to be bothered. Capricorns don't have to be entertained all times of the day. This is just a normal part of a Capricorn and it comes down to you being able to accept this fact about us. Are you able to deal with us disappearing some time and just wanting that time alone without taking it personal? That is a question that you must ask for yourself. Capricorns genuinely enjoy solitude and if you don't bring value to our life then us making this decision to just spend that alone time is definitely easy for us. If you are looking for someone who will entertain you every minute of the day, Capricorns are not the one for you. Capricorns don't have to be babysat. We don't have to have you in our face all of the time. And we don't have to be in your face all of the time. I mean, there are times when you may think a Capricorn has ghosted you or is just plain ignoring you. But in reality, we are just spending that time alone and getting things done that we have to get done without any distractions. Capricorns do a lot of self-reflection and can have the tendency to pull back when things are not going according to our plan. We like to sit back and take personal time in order to reevaluate our life and plan out our next step. Capricorns are definitely among the planners of the Zodiac and we like to stick to our plans. And it can kind of take us some time to come to grips with ourselves in the situation if things are not going the way that we expect it to go. And this also can include a relationship. So yes, Capricorns need that time alone. We need that space for ourselves. Really, you can't help anyone at the end of the day if you don't take time to get yourself together first. You're not able to help others if you're not able to help yourself. So just give your Capricorn a space and maybe we may come back to you more rejuvenated or our self-reflection is telling us that we don't need you in our life at all. You have shown signs of disloyalty. It is no surprise here that Capricorns honor and value loyalty more than anything in our personal relationships. And this could be the one thing that honestly just turns a Capricorn completely off, ghosts you, and never want anything to do with you. Capricorns tend to keep a small circle of people who we really, truly feel that we can trust. And once that trust is broken... The relationship that you have with a Capricorn is done. That relationship cannot be mended. There is nothing that you can say to a Capricorn that will ever get us back to that point that we put you on this pedestal or we thought very highly of you. Capricorns, um, we don't operate like that. And we value loyalty a lot more than probably anything else. Because more than likely, if you're not a loyal person, you really can't be a good friend, a good partner. You just can't. You can't go around backstabbing people. And those are not the type of people that Capricorn wants in our lives at the end of the day. Loyalty is definitely a non-negotiable for us. And it is unwavering. It is something that we simply will not compromise on. We won't bend our rules. We won't give you slack. I mean, no, that's a no-go for a Capricorn. If a Capricorn has ghosted you, think back to your actions long and hard. Think back to the times where you may have not been honest with a Capricorn or you may have not been loyal to a Capricorn and everything will probably lead back to you. Capricorns are typically not the sign who just gives up on our relationships. We are the sign who fights for our relationships. We fight for everything in our lives to go perfectly. So if a Capricorn walks out of your life or we ghost you, we have tried everything that we could possibly do in order to save the relationship. 
Now, I'm not saying that this is all Capricorns, but I am saying most Capricorns. Capricorns are not the type who play around and will not accept fakeness in our lives. We don't accept fake people in our lives or we don't accept people who cannot be open and honest with us. Capricorns are loyal and will always expect the same from you and there will be no excuses that we will accept when it comes to being loyal. If there is one thing that a Capricorn can never forgive, it is a disloyal person. To us, integrity and your character is everything. Capricorns care about reputation. And if your reputation is kind of rocky, Capricorns won't even give you the time of day. We have absolutely no room in our lives for people like this. Once you are in a Capricorn's life, you will be there forever. Capricorns want solid people in our lives and that goes back to when i said capricorns don't give up easy on our relationships once we have placed you in our lives once we have placed our loyalty into you our honesty into you we don't want to give that up if we have to we will now let's just clear that up capricorns are not pushovers and we won't accept garbage from anyone and we also place high value on those who we let into our space and those who we build bonds with those who we want in our lives it is definitely something that we take seriously so when i say you're in a capricorn's life forever you could be there forever just be honest with us never show us that you are disloyal don't talk about us behind our backs don't do stupid stuff and a Capricorn will definitely always have your back and bend over backwards for you. Treat us right and we will always treat you right. Now Capricorns don't like to replace people but we definitely will get rid of you accordingly based on your actions. Capricorns are also a sign who wants to be cared for. We're always seen as the strong sign and don't get me wrong Capricorns are very strong. But at the same time, we want people to respect us enough to care for us, to show us that loyalty, to show us that honesty, to be gentle with us. And despite what others may assume about Capricorns, we are full of emotions and we want you to be gentle with us. We want you to care for us. We want you to be loyal to us. And that is honestly one of the ways to get on a Capricorn's bad side is displaying ill intentions or not being loyal, not caring for us and just being a bad person overall. If a Capricorn senses that you are not committed, we will do a disappearing act with no hesitation and it is what it is. You are not trying to better yourself. Capricorn may have ghosted you because you are not trying hard enough. Even if you're not good at what you're trying, your dedication and your will to succeed is what gets a Capricorn and what keeps our interest. We want to see you fighting towards something and working hard towards something and at least putting in the effort. Show us how dedicated you are. And like I said, even if you're not good at it, Capricorns just want to see your tenacity and we just want to see how far you're willing to go. And if you're the type who starts something and don't finish it or just always being pessimistic towards yourself or don't think that you can do anything, that is honestly not the type of energy a Capricorn wants around us. Now, let me go to this. Capricorns can be a bit pessimistic, but that's honestly just because Capricorns are realist and deep down inside we know that we can honestly do anything that we want to if we set our mind towards it even if we're not the best at it you will be fooled and think that Capricorns are the best at what we do because we never give up we have dedication we keep moving and overall we just are hard workers and we're willing to put the effort and time and energy into what we really want and we can withstand any situation. We can withstand the long haul. We can stay in there and get things done. We can work day and night when everybody else is sleeping, when everybody else has given up. Capricorns will always be there. We want to see your intentions. We want to see that you are serious about what you're doing. We want you to be serious about bettering yourself. You either keep up or you get lost when it comes to a Capricorn. We definitely want you to be doing your own thing. We want you to always have something positive going on in your life. And that's mostly because we don't want you always under us, bugging us while we are trying to move up and move forward towards our goals. We feel like you should be doing the same thing. We truly want you to have your own interests and business at the end of the day. 
Capricorns love our independence and freedom and will not compromise it for anything in the world. We just want those around us to be able to keep up. We want you to be dedicated and self-determined. And if you're not able to display this type of personality to a Capricorn, well, they just may ghost you. All hope has been lost. Things may just not be going the way that we expected it to. It may just not be flowing well. And that is totally fine. Capricorns are mature enough to understand that not everything works out or goes our way 100% of the time. This is why we really don't have a hard time when it comes to walking away when and if the time is needed. Once we know that we have put our energy and our efforts into anything and it doesn't work out, we're able to leave it where it is because we tried. We didn't give up until it was time to give up. It honestly doesn't take that much for a Capricorn to lose interest, especially if you are starting out in your relationship. But as long as you're an upstanding human being and you're trying to improve yourself and you're able to be loyal to us and you're able to have your own thing going on, Capricorns more than likely will want you in our lives and will reserve that forever space for you. As long as you're able to keep up with the human being or the person that you were, that made us want to put you permanently into our lives. All right, guys. So down below, what are some reasons you think Capricorns may ghost someone? And have you ever been ghosted? And if you have been, then by which zodiac sign? I really want to know this. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And you'll be sure to hear from me soon. All right. Bye-bye.